Hello everyone, welcome to Zeref Game Dev. In this video, we are going to see the gameplay for the game which I have created in Unity. So it's a simple 2D platformer and there's some circular gravity. It uh, took me around a month to create it and uh, there were so many problems and finally the game looks almost pretty good enough right now so let's see the gameplay first so as you can see we have a default scene opened up so let's play the game and there is an option for the sound which we are going to save it and let's mute the sound so if we quit the game quits and let's play again so let's hit play so this is the stage selection there is only one stage currently right now but uh, if you want you can add multiple stages and these are the number of diamonds we possess and this is the how to play so inside how to play there's just one button and this image so it is like uh, that we walk on the platform and we jump between platforms and get the diamonds or the points or whatever we call and then we reach the goal so let's play the first level and before that let me clear all the player prefs so every level is new so let's hit play and let's see how it looks so this is the first level as you can see every level is an independent scene and i've just created it manually so Let's play. Mm. So that was a problem for the gravity. Let's play again. So there's animation working and we can also jump. And we collected the point and there's the first level as far as so let's see how the next level looks so this level was supposed to be like this should be working as a spring but uh, it is somehow working ah i don't know what i call it is chaos everywhere so this is the default spike and we have finished the level now let's see what this level does so there is nothing much just one more different level and uh, there is our first diamond and we are going to get the second one and uh, finally we'll reach the goal so let's see what's in the fourth level so I've created almost uh, six to seven levels I wanted to create more but there were problems everywhere inside the script so currently it is only six more levels and i don't know why didn't it switch so left and right it is working and whenever we move to a new platform it is also working now the fifth level is a little bit trickier and i think we won't be able to get it so yeah uh, this one is trickier Mm. It will be difficult. Mm. We need to move in the opposite direction. So, as you can see, this is the fifth level and there are two more levels and they are similarly difficult so we almost cleared the level on the first try so it is showing a diamond which is supposed to be a star but uh, we are going to work with diamonds and the apples or the points we have collected are also shown and it is shown as an animation so we'll also create those animations and let's go inside the sixth level and let's see what the sixth level has so i think yeah it's just some 
basic bouncing circle platforms and finally uh, 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 finally so the jump we are adding it as a force so the jump height is different every time and and now we reach the end so let's see what our final level does and i don't think i'll ever be able to finish this level because oh yeah i'll never be able to because the physics system is too bad for it and i don't know how to accurately calculate all those forces and if you do it manually as uh, changing the transform position it's going to be difficult so it was just uh, another try for a simple platformer game and that was the game so if we turn on the music there is not much music going on but uh, if you want to add different jump sounds or point sounds you can add it so in this video series we are just going to create this game and that's it so if you want to follow along so do subscribe to the channel and I'll, uh, save the playlist so you can know when the next video is up so if you do want to watch uh, just subscribe to the playlist and it's too much exhausting recording and thank you guys for watching if you watched till now see you guys in the next video and we'll start creating the game in the next video